my name is Haley and this is the house for hosting welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome in today I'm doing a clean with me and I'm gonna show you how I'm cleaning my house to hopefully give you a little bit of cleaning motivation or if you just like watching these types of videos then maybe this will be some entertainment for you but either way let's go ahead and get right into the video so for starters I'm gonna start in the kitchen doing the dishes when I have to clean, I always try to start with dishes and laundry. If the dishes are clean in the dishwasher, then I like to unload and then go ahead and load anything that's dirty. And then I like to start a load of laundry. In a way, I always say it's like letting the dishwasher and the laundry machine work for you while you work on the rest of the house. Because if you have dirty dishes or dirty laundry, you can clean your house, but it's still going to feel dirty. Because those are two things that are going to leave things scattered and out. And the biggest thing about cleaning a house that makes it feel clean is having things in its place. So for starters, I always start with the dishes and then I move on to the laundry. So I don't know if you're new here or you have been here since the start of this channel, but our old house we sold and I miss it almost every day. And one thing that I miss so much about that house was my kitchen. The kitchen was very big. We built that house and I custom designed it. And specifically I custom designed the cabinets in there because I wanted all the cabinet space. And this house, um, I love this house, it's very pretty, it has a lot of the same characteristics that our old house had, but it does not have as much cabinet space. So I pretty much kept everything that I had at the old house, it's just getting creative with where to put it, so that makes it a little bit more challenging um, for space. And also in your kitchen, which in my kitchen that we did have, I had a lot of counter space, and I loved that, and I don't have that as much here in this house. So for me, I like counter space for cooking. I prefer not to sit a lot of things on my counters just because I feel like it can tend to make the space feel smaller and more cluttered. But I do have some Halloween decorations out right now, which if you saw my last video, I showed you how I did a little bit of decorating. But for cleaning purposes, I like to have the counter space open and clean. And like I said, put away those dishes and get them put in their spot because it just makes the space feel so much more tidy and organized and put together so like i said after i get the dishes going or put away i like to start a load of laundry and i have been playing around with our laundry recently my youngest has very sensitive skin so we've always used the all free and clear however i really have wanted some sense and i have fallen victim to the tiktoks videos of all the the different selling things on TikTok shop where they have like the Tyler company sale uh, smell scent stuff. And that's what I'm adding now. I've been adding that. It's the Diva scent. I've been adding that to my towels and mine and my husband's clothing or my oldest daughter's clothing. I'm specific not to put it in anything that my youngest will touch because like I said, she has sensitive skin. And then my most recent thing that I have discovered, which I don't know if y'all have seen it, the viral TikTok video where the lady said she stayed at an Airbnb and the sheets smelled amazing. And so she went to the laundry room to look to see what they were using. And it was the, hang on, let me just go to my laundry room right now and tell you exactly what it is because I went and bought it. And this combination is a lot, but it smells so good. So I'm about to share it with you. But again, keep in mind, if you have sensitive skin, I would not use it. I don't use it on anything for my daughter, but hang tight. Let me go get it, and I will tell you exactly what that scent is. Okay, I'm back. So, it's the Gain Moonlight Breeze Laundry Detergent, and then you're going to add in the, um, like, the scented beads. They actually use the Downy Ocean Mist beads. I smelled that and didn't really care for it, so I'm actually using the Gain Fireworks beads you put that in with your clothes when you wash and then you're going to add the downy rinse and refresh fabric rinse and they used the ocean mist scent on that one currently i have the cool cotton scent because they were out of stock on the ocean mist but the cool cotton smells good one thing i will say is 
the Downy Rinse and Refresh. It's supposedly doesn't have like any perfumes or anything in it and it's supposed to be better so I don't know I might try it on my youngest daughter's towels just to see how she does with that because like I said she has very sensitive skin generally she cannot have anything but I might just see how she does with that with something simple and small I don't want to start that on her main set of clothes then once you get done washing those and you put them in the dryer you're going to use the Gain Moonlight Breeze, um, what are they called? Ugh, fabric softener sheets, right? I'm looking at it. Dryer sheets, duh. Anyways, the Gain Moonlight Breeze dryer sheets. Put that in with your clothes as they dry. Not only are your clothes going to smell amazing, but your house is going to smell amazing too. And I really like it. Like I said, I keep it to... Mine and my husband's stuff, our like towels and sheets, and my oldest, she's fine. Anything my daughter uses, we, we don't do that for her. But I'll put that in the description because I know that was a mouthful and you're probably like, wait, I don't remember all that. So I will add that in the description if you're looking for something good to change and you're not sensitive to scents and stuff. I will add that in the description. Now, while I have the washing machine going and the dishwasher going, or like I said, dishes put away, then I go room by room and I like to pick up each room and make the beds. For me, cleaning a bedroom is so much easier when you start by making the bed first. Um, sometimes I do that. <laughs> sometimes I don't take my own advice and I will put the clothes and things away and then make the bed. I, it really just depends on how messy the room is. Sometimes when your room is super messy, it can feel really intimidating and you're like, I don't know where to start. And if that's the case, I would say make your bed first. That way you can use it as a table to set items on the bed and group them so that then you know what to do and you don't feel like you're chasing tail. You don't feel like you're going in a big circle and accomplishing nothing. You can kind of see the room getting better. Making your bed automatically is going to get your pillows and blankets off the floor. So that takes care of a huge chunk of things that are laying around your bedroom. And then again, like I said, it creates a almost like a table that you can use to fold clothes and put things. One video I did a while back was how to clean your room in 10 easy steps. And I will link it at the end of this video, but I did that video because when I started this channel, I started sharing cleaning tips and uh, like cleaning motivation videos and deep cleaning and organizing and recipes and all the things that I was already doing and things that I really like to do. And I started to learn and realize that cleaning is not a skill that we are born knowing how to do. Not everybody knows how to clean. Cleaning is not a hard thing to learn, but some people just don't know how to do it. So they can spend all day long and have not accomplished anything. And so I wanted to start off with the basics and show you how to clean a room very easily and it not take you all day. And it really feel clean and really put together. And so that's something that I've had to learn to teach my kids is that it shouldn't take you the whole entire weekend to get your room clean. If that's the case, you have number one, too much stuff, but number two, you're probably doing and then undoing things because you're not just going in a really simple order. So like I said, I'll link that video at the end of this one. It's not super long and it's something that maybe you can show your kids if you're in the process of teaching them how to clean or maybe it'll just give you an idea of a method to tackle a room because let's be honest, sometimes we know we need to clean, but we don't want to. The motivation is not there. And so if you know you can get the job done in less time, why not? So this is a little side note, but I'm gonna see who is still watching at this point in the video and who's listening. <laughs> I wanna know in the comments if you can see my dresser which you might have to go back now because I'm talking slow, but in my master bedroom, if you can see my dresser, um, the color of it, I got that off Marketplace. I re-finished like finished it and added the legs, added the 
knobs on it and I painted it and I really like the color. However, I feel like now I need to paint my headboard. I don't know if y'all have seen any of like my Instagram videos, but I also like DIY things and building stuff. And so that headboard, I actually built it a couple years ago and I love it. But when I built it, I stained it and I didn't like a whitewash technique, which like I said, I really like. However, I ended up getting new nightstands and I, I like the finish of them. I don't want to paint those. But I almost feel like the nightstands slightly clash with the wooden headboard. So I'm wondering if I painted the headboard the same color as the dresser, would that tie everything together? I, I really want to do it. And I have enough paint left over to do it. So I might do that and do a video. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you don't want to rewind at the end, I will go through and show each area freshly cleaned because we all like to see the end results so i have that at the end and in that clip you can see a better uh, view or color of the dresser i forget i think it's called i don't know i forget what it's called i'm not gonna sit here and lie and try to make it up because i could go look in the garage at the paint but i already got up to tell y'all about the washing stuff and now I'm back sitting on the couch doing this voiceover and I don't feel like getting up again. <laughs> Anyways, um, if I look at it before I post the video, I'll put it in the description. Side note, while I have you here, let me tell you about my new cleaning tool that I'm so excited about. Is this electric cleaning brush. Speaking of TikTok, I have gotten so convinced on these electric cleaning brushes and I was scrolling through my Walmart app the other day and lately they have been offering some really great deals and they had this cleaning brush offered on the app and it was on sale for $20 and it came with all of these attachments and I thought, you know what, 20 bucks, it's worth the try. You know, if it's a waste, it's $20, but if not, I haven't put out hundreds of dollars for this. She's good. She's a keeper. She is staying. I love it because you have different attachments. You have like a wand so you can make it longer for areas like this in the tub. You're getting a really good clean. And then when you're done, you can just take the attachment off, rinse it, and it charges. This is really good. So again, if this is something you've ever wanted to purchase or look at, I would say check on walmart.com. Um, just type in electric spin brush or electric cleaning brush and tons will come up. Um, the brand, as you saw in the box in the front, I'll put it in the description. I don't know if I can get the link from it from Walmart, but I will tell you which one I bought. And then maybe you can find it on sale because I don't know if it's still on sale. But it's worth it. I really do like it. In particular, the biggest reason I ordered that brush was because of this glass shower door. I love this glass door, but it is a pain. It's a pain to keep clean. Every time you shower, you have to squeegee it. You can't leave the water on it or it puts water spots. Um, and it's such a pain. But I have found, I saw one of my friend, Michelle. I hope I'm saying her name right because I'm forever reading things. And we talk a lot on here and on Instagram. And she's sweet. And I'm going to link her channel on the description because she also has a YouTube uh, where she does cleaning videos and i love her videos too but i saw she did a video one time showing to put vinegar and dawn in a cleaner to get the hard spots off of a glass door and i was like that is so smart so i stole her idea i'm giving her credit <laughs> and it really does work so with my electric brush i use the softer pad because i don't want to scratch the glass um, and I put it on there and it, I use the electric like brush. The amount of work that I have to do is minimal now. I used to spend hours on that door and now not the case at all. And it works perfect and it makes it so crystal clean. Now, while we're on the topic of being influenced, let me go ahead and give the spin mop her moment because I was influenced. I love watching people use this spin mop on TikTok and clean their floors. It's just something about it. I don't I don't know. It's just relaxing. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to get one 
didn't realize they're only like 30 bucks at Walmart. It comes with the mop and the bucket. I can mop my floors in no time. And then you can empty it out, rinse it, clean it. Like, I, I wish I would have done this sooner. Our last house had hardwood floors, so I really limited the water that I put on them. So mopping traditionally in that house with those floors was never an option. I used a steam mop on the dust setting. Very, very limit on the water for that house. This house has the LVP waterproof floors. So I was like, yep, yes ma'am. Put that spin mop in the bucket. We're gonna try it. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend. I add a little bit of floor cleaner to the water and I use super hot water and I can mop these floors in no time. And the bucket is lightweight. I'm actually thinking about getting one for my grandmother for Christmas. So I hope she's not watching this video. But yeah, if you don't have a spin mop, you should get one. And you can get them at Walmart as well. And then when I'm done mopping, I just take it to the bathroom and dump all that nasty, dirty water straight down the toilet, flush it. And because I'm right by the tub, I rinse out the bucket with the water from the spout, pour that down the drain again or into the toilet and I rinse out my mop head. You can actually take your mop head off and throw it in the washing machine. Super easy. You can buy your replacement heads at Walmart too. I love it absolutely love it it comes with one head which has worked just fine for me but you can buy more if you need them um, and then once i've rinsed out and cleaned the head i just use it again back in the spin mop to really wring out all that water in the mop and then finish by pouring it down the toilet again i love it whoever invented this thing is a genius like i really really like it super easy highly recommend and now that my floors are done, my house is clean, we can enjoy this for about 2.5 seconds until everyone comes home from school and work and then it gets destroyed. But let's just enjoy this moment while we have it. I'm going to go through and kind of show you the end results of every room. I really hope that you have enjoyed being here and watching this video. If you are new and you would like to stay, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments any type of videos that you want to see. Um, again, I'm slow to getting back into recording, but it's something that I enjoy doing. I'm also going to try to start doing some more short form content on my TikTok. So head on over there as well. And like I said, let me know in the comments um, if you have any suggestions or any comments. And if you see my master bedroom, I want to know your opinion. Should I paint that headboard or not? Let me know. Anyways, until next time. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thanks for watching this video and hanging out with me today. Anything that I've talked about in here, I will put in the description of this video. So just check it out there. And if I can't find links to specific items, I'll just tell you. I'll just share. We don't gatekeep over here. Hope y'all have a great day and a happy week. And it's the week of Halloween. So happy Halloween. Until next time, bye y'all.